Next up, we have the Iran Iranian Greco-Roman world champion making his highly anticipated promotional debut, Amir Ali Akbari. He will be joining us as well with the translator. Let's welcome Amir Ali Akbari. <laughs> How are you doing, Amir? A lot of talk about your debut How this you? Friday. How are you feeling ahead? I'm good. Good. Thanks, God. Now, there's been a lot of talk about your debut. You're facing an undefeated Islam Abbasov. How's training camp been? How do you feel physically? How do you feel mentally? خوشبین که تمرین خیلی خوبی داشتیم کمپ خوب خیلی خوبی داشتیم برای این بازی و منتظریم که فقط حریفی یاد و یه فایت خیلی خوب به نمایش بذاریم و امیدوارم که اولین فایت توی وان چمپیون رضایت همه تماشه چیه رو داشتیم We've had a really good camp, a really good fight uh, preparation to get here It's been a few months in the making We're very excited for this and we're sure we're going to shock the fans in our uh, debut and with our performance now, a lot of these Asian fans will probably see you compete for the first time. What can fans expect from Amir Ali Akbari? How much you achieve in the last tour? I'm not sure. 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 I'm not After 20 months of practicing and not uh, getting ready for a fight, I am very excited to get in there, and the fans can be expecting a very high thrilling fight. What are your thoughts on Islam Abbasov? He's an undefeated fighter, 6-0. Oh, Hasn't been able to watch any tape on him? So as of right now, Islam Abbasov is no longer fighting. Uh, their one championship is looking for a new opponent. Uh, and whoever they throw at us, we're going to be ready to fight. Well, this is news to me. <laughs> it's news to us, too. <laughs> me, too, bro. <laughs> Well, let's see. Tell us about tell us about the um, the months leading up to this. Then you had a long time since announcing your signing with one championship. What's training been like? What was the media like? How's life been? ما تقریبا سه ماه خیلی سخت تمرین کردیم خب یک بار یک ماه پیش بازی ما کنسل شد ولی ما کمپ رو قطع نکردیم و تمرینات خیلی سخت رو پشت سر گذاشتیم و نسبت بازی قبلی که داشتیم خیلی پیشرفت کردیم و ان که این هفته نشون میدیم کجای کاری We had three hard uh, months of training to prepare for a fight then last month our fight got canceled but we, we continue to train. So it's been a long, long four months to getting here. We trained very hard. And with our fight coming this week, we're gonna show you how our preparation was. Where, where's the training camp in? I, I see that he's affiliated to AK Thailand. Is that still where he is now or is he training somewhere else? Uh, to camp at AAA to Iran, camp He trained at his own camp at AAA in Iran. AAA in Iran. It's his own camp that he prepared with his guys and he created a big group over there. That's amazing. Now, we gotta talk about this one. Brandon Vera, you've been calling out Brandon Vera for a long time. Brandon Vera is scheduled to fight Ajahn Bular. What do you think about that matchup and how well he matches up against those two? برای من اصلا فرق نمی کنه برندون ویر کومار فقط میخوام خیلی زود بازی کنم و تکیف قهرمان مشخص بشه چون فایت بعدی من هم که سرکم من بازی میکنم و هر کدوم که باشه یه جوری لهشون میکنم که مدت تا خون استراحت کنم For me, it doesn't matter if it's Vera or anybody else. I am prepared to do anything I can. I am the true champ. Amir is the true champ. Uh, whoever that is in front of him, he's ready to smash. And he is going to show you guys this weekend. A little gentle reminder here to the media joining us. To ask questions, you need to type in your questions into the Zoom chat box and direct it to the host, Tammy Chan. And I'll read your questions out loud to the athletes. Apologies about that. Now, question here from one championship has signed a lot of new one heavyweights into the one championship roster. We have um, great talents like Tom DeBlas, Marcus Puchetta. Have you done your homework on these athletes? Yeah. And what's your opinion on them? Yeah, I'm going to try and talk about the division. 
دمادش میتونه اینجا همه میشناسن و سنگی وزنه خوبی گرفته توی دنیا و داره سنگی وزنه وان چمپیونشیپ خیلی خوب داره میشه ولی همه اینا چند لیول پایین تر از من هم به من با اختلاف خیلی زیاد بهتر سنگی وزنه He has done his homework. He is aware of all these fighters. He believes that one championship has done a good job in creating the heavyweight roster. Uh, he is excited to see where, uh, to become in this roster, but he truly believes that the he is a few steps ahead of everyone else on the roster. Now, for the fans who hasn't seen Amir fight yet, can you describe his style to the fans? <laughs> من تو همه استایل ها مبارزه میکنم و تو همه استایل ها تعمیل کردم من کشتیم با بوکس هم و استراکر هم هیچ فرق نمی کنه و مونده به حریف هم که چجوری بخوام باش مبارزه کنم He has trained all styles um, and all backgrounds. His wrestling is just as good as his striking. His grappling is just as good as his ground game. Um, he will determine based on his opponent on which style he wants to get, uh, go to, but he is very confident in all different type of styles. Now, Amir has fought all over the world. He's fought in Petersburg. He's fought in Japan. He's fought in Thailand as well. How does it feel now to finally land in one championship, the home of martial arts, And what's it been like being an athlete for one? I mean, just fight Kadi. I like him when he's the division one championship. She is a superior. I'm a very good one championship. 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 He has been looking forward to one championship for a very long time. He's been a big fan even before he signed on to the division. Um, it's been a long time coming for him. Um, he believes that he is the rightful heavyweight here. And uh, starting this week, he's going to show his abilities. Now, speaking about that, one championship has also signed a lot of Iranian fighters recently. Is Amir um, close with them? And what does he think of that? Now being this part of a group, leading this new Iranian wave. One championship, you all admit Iranian talents are in that thing, she's kind of خب خیلی خوشحالم که وان چمپیونشیپ بعد از اینکه با ما امضا کرد قبول کرد با تیم ما با کسایی که تو ایران بهترین بودن هم امضا کنه و ما در تلاشیم یک سری فایترهای خوب دیگه از ایران بیاریم چون من میدونم وان چمپیونشیپ جز بهترین سازمان های دنیا است و دوست دارم که بهترین فایترهای ایران رو بیارم توی وان چمپیونشیپ They, they believe that the future of Iran and one championship coincide with each other and that his team, starting with his team, they're going to open a pathway to Iranian fighting as well. That's going to be exciting to see, man. We got a question here from Matthew Scott of South China Morning Post. Can you talk a bit about his beginnings in combat sport? What and who got him interested in wrestling first? And was he always keen on exploring other combat sports? چطوری شروع کردی در همون کردن هم؟ با چی شروع کردی و همون چه میدونستیم با سیم های بریم؟ خب من بعد از اینکه کشتی گذاشتم کنار بعد از تقریبا 15 سال تمرین کشتی اومدم توی کمپ اکریت تایلند و شروع کردم به یاد گرفتن ام ام ای به خاطر اینکه از خیلی کچکتر علاقه خیلی زیادی به جنگ کردن بشه After a long uh, career in wrestling, he put that aside and started training at AKA in Thailand. Um, he's always been attracted to the sports of martial arts and just war in general. And that's what his ambitions were. Next question here from Leon Jennings of Asian Persuasion MMA. Who does Amir expect to win when Vera defends his title against Ajahn Bula? Mm -hmm. <laughs> احساس میکنم که کمار این بازی رو میبره ولی واقعا برای من فرق نمیکنه و دوست دارم که خیلی زود این بازی برگزار بشه و بازی بعدی برسه به من He thinks Kumar has an upper handle on that fight um, and after that fight he's excited to match up against him and show that why he's a few levels above everybody else Next question here from Jim Barcelona of Miami Herald Has he trained any different because of COVID, and how has he evolved as a fighter? Because of COVID and coronavirus, what did he train in the fight? 
خب ما خیلی از بچه که توی کمپ ما تمرین میکردن و تحتیل کردیم و جدا کردیم و با یک تیم خاص پنی نفره این سه ماه تمرین کردیم ولی خب کووید باید شد که خیلی سخت بتونیم تمرین کنیم Because the COVID training has been a little difficult, he had to minimize his team from 20 people down to five people, five selected people to help him and his training camp. Um, so it's been a little tougher, but it doesn't matter for him, he's, he's ready. Question here from Michael Clifton of Low Kick MMA. What is it like working with Ali Abdelaziz and how did that relationship come about? از بعد می‌پرسه علی خب بو وقتی که تیم ما با علی آشنا شد و با هم شروع کردیم به کار کردن فهمیدم که علی خیلی پسر خوبیه و خیلی متحد توی کارش و خیلی کمک کرده به من که تا اینجا که همه کارا خوب پیش بره Um, the form that his management that formed around Ali Abdulaziz and Pride Line Management um, has been very good, very successful. They've helped him get over here and uh, battle any kind of hurdle that he's gone up against, and uh, they've been very supportive behind them. Matt Scott of South China Morning Post with this question. What about the MMA scene in Iran? Can you talk a bit more about the sport back home and how is it being developed and what is its history? خب توی این سه چهار سال اخیر که MMA توی ایران جا افتاده خیلی خوب دارم پیشرفت میکنم به بچه ها و خیلی دارم جلو میان امیدوارم که تا پنج شیش سال آینده MMA ایران جز قوی ترین MMA های دنیا باشه و پیشرو این MMA ایران هم تیم ماست که صبح و از دور دارم تمرین میکنن که بتونم پیشرفت کنم The MMA scene in Iran is very new It's only been a couple years Um, but it is increasing with popularity uh, very quickly. Um, and his team that he has formed in Iran is spearheading the movement. Um, he believes in four to five years, the uh, Iranian teams will be one of the greatest teams to fight in mixed martial arts. Going into this question now from Michael Clifton of Low Kick MMA. One has been mostly known for its fighters in the lighter divisions. And obviously Amir has a big following. Do you feel like you're the fighter to help one's heavyweight division receive more attention. خدا یک پشیمانی که داریم مثلا توی اینستاگرام یا فالوینگ خیلی بزرگی داری بکنی تو آدمی هستی که مثلا این راحت ایران پاس کنه. خب ما مردم ایران همیشه پشت همین و هر کاری که می‌کنیم سعی می‌کنیم همدیگه رو حمایت کنیم و من بعد از اینکه فوکس هم روی فایت اولین فکر هم اینه که بتونم ام ام ای رو به صورت رسمی و بزرگ وارد ایران کنم و کمک کنم به همه فایترهای ایران که پیشرفت کنن. The Iranian people do a very good job of supporting their own. Um, anytime there's an Iranian athlete, the entire country stands behind them. Um, his number one priority right now is his fight this weekend. But after that, he, is, he has big ambitions to open up this pathway in Iran, and he believes that him and his team are the team to go ahead and do this, along with one championship. Question from Jim Barcelona again from Miami Herald. Who got him ready for the fight, and who is with him for this fight in his corner? چطوری امیدی هستی برای این فایت فایت کورنر دیگه؟ خب ما تمرین خیلی خوبی و منظمی داشتیم کورنر من آیدین طالبیه که خیلی کمک کرده توی این کمپ ما رو و نزدیک دو ساله که صبح و بعد از داریم با هم تمرین میکنیم و وقتی که وارد قفص بشم متوجه میشید که چقدر آن بوده Again, he selected a, a very few amount of people to train him for this for the last two years he's been training with this coach and corner man آیدین um, They've been working night and day uh, in, in the past to get to this place that he is right now. Now, one championship, this new heavyweight roster, Brandon Vera, the champion. With the win, well, obviously this bout had to be rescheduled. Does he think with one win, he puts himself in line to be the next contender for that title fight? این بایی یه دونه فایت میتونیم خود رو خوندی کنیم برای تیفر تایتل فایت یعنی میدونه تو توست؟ آف کورس من همین الان هم آماده تایتل فایت هم ولی خب میدونم که تایتل فایت مت شده با هم ولی شک نکنید که برای بازی دوم تایتل فایت مال منه و خود کمربند هم مال منه He believes because of the person he is and the following that he has that his very first fight should have been for the title but After this fight, you guys will see why his next fight should be for the title, and he's confident that he is going to fight for the title for his next fight. Now, Abi hasn't fought in over a year. How does he keep sharp with such a long break? 
یه سال دیگه دعوا نکردی بیشتر دوست دعوا نکردی چطوری خودتو شارپ کردی دیگه اون دیگه من 20 ماه که فایت نکردم ولی توی این 20 ماه یک روز استراحت نکردم و سخت تمرین کردم و نسبت به فایت قبلم خیلی پیشرفت داشتم و مطمئن باشید که بعد از این فایت های متفاوتی از من می‌بینید یه از ان فایت اوور 20 مانث But since that time, there hasn't been a single day off that he's had. He's been preparing night and day with him, his team, his corner man, his coach. Uh, he feels that he's a lot better and a lot sharper than he is than he was back then. He's ready for this, and you guys will see his results. Talking about the fans, is there anything you'd like to tell to his fans in Singapore and all across the world? اولا که میدونم که همه به من نجای مصورت میدید و همه پشت منید و ممنونم ازتون دوم این که منتظر باشید روز جمعه یه فایتی میخوام براتون بکنم که همه تون لذت دارید از این فایت He's very thankful for the support he's gotten in Iran and in Singapore and all around the world um, and he is excited to show you guys this weekend about how he performs and his performance in general We we'll probably have one more question here, just waiting for the media to type it in. So give us a second here. How was the flight been? How was the travel from Iran back to into Singapore? Was there any complications in that? I was a president just last week. I'm on as one championship. Thank you very much for your support. I'm very happy to be here. 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 I'm very happy to He wants to send the thanks to One Championship for their accommodations, uh, taking care of all logistics. He's had a great flight over here, a great stay over here. They've taken care of him. Uh, and he wants to send his thanks with his performance this weekend. That's all from us. Thank you both for your time. And I uh, hope we get a podium for you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. That was Amir Ali Akbari joining us No word on the uh, possible opponent yet, but I'm sure we'll have that information for you as soon as we find out. We're going to go on a little break here, but at 11.30, we will have the Indian Tigers, Ritu Foga, coming off a sensational performance on October 30th inside the Matrix. Quick turnaround for her. For her, she will be going up against Jomari Torres of the Philippines. We will be back soon.